I think for many years, I wasn't quite sure what my pathway was, or I hadn't really figured out in life what I wanted to do was probably the big thing. Probably the, the, to the lowest point I'd, I'd had in my life, you know, I was 16 and a half years old, I was out of home, <clears throat> I tried to, you know, work in the real world and that hadn't been that successful and I was in trouble uh, with the police for a period and I had this opportunity to go and do an outdoor adventure program for kind of youth at risk. That course that I did was a major uh, turning point for me because not only did I sort of get exposed to more outdoor adventure possibilities, but what I really got to see was that there was people who made a career out of working in the outdoors. And for me, that was the big light bulb moment. For me, it wasn't about let's just go and do this nice tramping trip. For me, it was like, how far can we go in one day? Or why do you have to stop at the end of the day? Why can't you just walk into the night? You know, we've got torches. And so I always had this fascination of endurance. I started doing endurance triathlons as a teenager as well. So I started running marathons and doing sort of one day multi-sport races, you know, running through mountains and kayaking down rivers and biking here and biking there. And that sort of introduced me to the world of, I guess, endurance sport. And that became a big part of my life, well it still is really. Pretty much in the space of about three or four years, I went from being a committed mountain biker, a couple of years of racing coast to coast, and then, and then I went into adventure racing, and that's been the last 20 years. <laughs> Putting a team together is not just about um, having the highest sort of horsepower. Mm. It's getting a group of people together that will work collectively um, successfully. All the things that we're using to win the races that we're winning these days, or that we have won, are, are learnings from mistakes from races that we lost or haven't performed well. To decide what you what you like doing and find someone to pay you to do it, I'm going to be the best in the world. You know, I'm going to be a part of the best team that the sport's ever seen, and we're going to be real successful. So that that's kind of my way of thinking. Well, there it is. We've now learned a bit more about Nathan Farvai before our full Outlier TV episode is released in the next few days. Make sure you subscribe to the Outlier TV channel by clicking the link in the description below. And remember to hit the bell icon so that we can notify you as soon as the episode is released.